Hey you guys, it's Nathan back with another video today sharing with you how to remove any object from a photo and I'm going to be using Photoscape today. You can also use other software such as GIMP, Photoshop of course, or even some apps such as Snapseed and I'm going to be going through a few different photos and removing some objects, uh, some text, some unwanted um, just kind of details in a photo and trying to really open it up so you guys can see uh, what all you can do with uh, this software. So here in Photoscape X we're going into the editor and we have some different photos that we have selected. What you're looking for is you're looking for like a spot heal tool or a clone stamp tool. Uh, so in Photoscape X you just go over here to tools and down here you have the spot healing brush and what this does is it tries to pick out the uh, object or whatever you selected and trying to guess what do you want to have removed so let's go to one of the easier ones such as this one so you have these hot air balloons that are in the air and if you wanted to just say hey um, I just want the one balloon now of course this which is a stock image I got it off I believe it's pixel.com this photo is super great and I love it how uh, the spacing between where the uh, let's see the spacing on ooh, hold on I love it that on here you have the spacing between the edge of the photo um, and that width there and the width between the, the other balloon very similar uh, just makes it very pleasing very good to uh, the eye so how do you remove this well simply you go over here to the spot healing tool and you select your brush size and there you go you just left click and you just go and select whatever object you want and you can select um, around it you can uh, select a large amount but what's going to do when I let go of that left click it's going to uh, try its best to figure out what I'm trying to remove so we clicked it we let it think for a second and sure enough it is completely gone and I would uh, guess that if you were to show this to anyone uh, they would say oh yeah it looks like a good photo or something like that you know this could actually be super helpful because uh, let's say you were trying to use this image for a very specific task I'm gonna hit control Z to undo to put this back let's say you were going to go to crop and you were gonna do like a 16 by 9 crop and you're like oh yeah because I want it for something that's gonna be 16 by 9 vertical and you say okay here's the crop and it's like oh man there's this extra balloon in the corner that's getting cut off uh, you can say oh yeah I'm gonna go in here to the spot heal tool I'm going to select uh, what's left of that balloon and remove it therefore the image looks nice it looks really clean and you can also go into here and go and remove let's see this small balloon off in the distance this is a really sharp image kudos to whoever took it uh, very well done alright but then what's awesome is you know so now it's just one balloon looking pretty good but you can zoom in here and actually see some other stuff so like, like here's a patch of the hot air balloon you can literally go over here and you can remove that patch off the hot air balloon you have this uh, TC uh, this uh, numbering maybe this is for some kind of identification on here but you can remove that as well it just depends on how hard is it going to be um, so we went over selected it it came out looking a little funky so we might have to try again so let's see zooming in real tight maybe we'll just go a letter at a time okay looking pretty good and sometimes the uh, sometimes the software is going to be guessing and sometimes it's not going to be guessing correctly or as well as you might like it to um, but if your job was to remove that lettering uh, we sure did it and it turned out not too bad 
Uh, another tool that you can have, some software they have it, some software they don't, but for Photoscape X, if you have the Pro model, which is, you know, $40 or something like that, you do have what's called the clone stamp tool. It's a tool that everyone absolutely loves. One thing that's neat is if you actually wanted to use the clone stamp tool and try it out without buying the software, you could actually go and get the Photoscape X, I think it's 3.7. It's an older model, but they actually allowed you to have uh, the clone stamp tool in that version of Photoscape without having to pay for it. So that's kind of just a little tidbit of information there. Um, but basically what the clone stamp tool does is you can click on one area, go down, and you can paste that in another spot. So instead of the instead of the software trying to guess for you or anything like that, it's actually just cut and pasting down there. And you can change the strength, you can change the size. Uh, let's see, I got it selected too much. But yeah, basically you select one spot, you go down, you say, okay, I want to start pasting over here. And that's a way that you're able to really have a lot more control. And depending on the software you're using, some is going to be a ton of control, some is not going to be very much. Uh, but nonetheless, that's a more precise way of how to remove it if you have some other texture to go off of. So if we were to go over here to this text on this side, um, you can go and remove that. And the goal is just for it to look as pleasing as possible as you know just as perfect you know and what's awesome is that you don't have to be like oh man I have to get a new hot air balloon or whatever it's like no you can make some little edits and you can make it a really amazing photo you know you can see all these people over here and just like over here you have this other balloon using the clone stamp tool uh, let me just increase the brush size real quick click I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna cut this out and because rocks are jagged, uh, pretty jagged and kind of rough, you're not going to be able to tell too much. Uh, but you can look at, hey, this is what the original looked like, and this is what it looks like now. You know, comparing those two, and you're able to make it look so clean and so pristine because you're able to remove whatever object you want from a photo. So, you have that, looks pretty good. Um, let me just save that. Uh, next, let's go over to another image. This is one that I was really, really stoked to edit. So basically, in here, uh, we're gonna go to the Spot Heal tool, and for whatever reason, you still have this teacher that's in the corner of this image, and you have his hands in here. But let's say you just wanted to crop in and uh, you wanted to just have those two students in this photo. Now, uh, the thing is, sometimes you might say, hey, I want to have more space. I want to be able to put something on that whiteboard back there, some text or something like that. So it's really helpful when you are um, looking at editing a photo, trying to save as much as possible, so then you have those options later. So if I go to Spot Heal and I'm like trying to just remove all of this guy, yeah, let's see how it goes. Um, that went pretty well, for sure. Um, let's just quickly go and say, hey, let's uh, just remove all of this. It'll be interesting to see how Photoscape tries to do this and how well it works. Ooh. Not terrible. It actually kept this line pretty nicely done. Um, over here... Uh, there's some issues uh, just because it made this huge blob. Let me see if I can, let me see what Photoscape does if I try to remove the blob. It just extended that paper out and just kept it going, which I think is perfect. I think that's great. So the thing is, you went from this, uh, let's see, original, you went from this, which had a bunch of random stuff in here, to this. And it's a lot cleaner. I can go back and remove these other objects as well and we didn't even have to use that uh, clone stamp tool Photoscape X actually did a great job of just removing it um, and did it real quick we can also remove some of this stuff down the bottom and as you can see it's helping to open up this photo so then down the road if I say oh yeah I want to 
insert some text up here or something like that, you can. So I'm super impressed at how well Photoscape actually did that. I thought I would have to do a lot of clone stamping and things like that, but it actually went really, really well. So I'm gonna hit to save that as well. All right, next we have right over here, we got the strawberry just laying out here, which it looks great, honestly, amazing photo, but let's say you wanted to uh, remove that one strawberry. Once again, going over here, spot healing tool, go and select the strawberry. How does it look? Um, let's see, so we go to compare. Honestly, it looks great. Um, and of course, if you zoomed in close, maybe you could say, oh, the wood grain kind of moved or the wood grain kind of changed and stuff. You know, honestly, I think it did a great job. Um, you could also like remove this line up top. You know, I'm kind of a, I'm kind of OCD when it comes to lines. I look at something like a photo of maybe a city street or something. And I'm like, oh man, pull out those, those power lines and those different ridges and things let's make it all smooth no nothing like that but you know reality you need some of those things but yeah removing that extra line there you could do that you could remove this stuff as well um, you just have to remember that when you're uh, selecting something sometimes it might grab a color that's just barely outside the selection like the red it could have pulled that so you just have to kind of mess around with it okay Next, we're going to go over to here. This is a photo, just a woman watch, walking on the beach. What can you do? Well, there's some interesting things in here. Uh, you have some different objects that you might want to have removed. So let's see what we've got. So down here, we've got like some stuff on the shore. If you go and select that, you can have that removed pretty easily. And out on the water, you got this buoy or something but we could remove that too just because it kind of takes away from the photo just enough where you're like hey um i don't actually want that so that worked out pretty well just to remove that so you went to uh, the original to where it is now i think i'll also get rid of this little spot down here um, another thing that you can do which I'm gonna attempt this, it might not work out super well. People have different um, thought processes about things, but sometimes you want a certain look, and if you're doing stock photography, it's making it look as clean and as perfect as possible. So on here, uh, this woman, she has a few interesting things. So she has this small wristband and she has a tattoo on her arm as well. She also has a bracelet, a ring, you know, all this stuff. But like, let's say if we were to go and try to just select over here, um, it ended up making it look slightly, uh, slightly morphed. Like we'd have to really zoom in to get real detailed in here, trying to make it just look exactly perfect. Um, it's not bad actually, but we went from the original where she has a tattoo to this one where now she does it. Um, and we could do this same thing over here for her bracelet. And it's not saying that her wearing a bracelet is wrong. It's saying, or her having a tattoo is wrong. It's simply saying that if you want to get very, very clean images, like if you're doing a stock image or something, or if you just want to remove something um, for the fun of it, you know, you can totally do that and you can make the image look so much cleaner than what it was originally. And it's just for the look and the type of photo that you're wanting to do. All right, so we want to save that. Um, over here, uh, kind of straightforward if you want to remove uh, the text on here. So spot healing, selecting that text and saying, hey, going to remove that. And yeah, removed it real quick and easy. But also other things you could do, like if you wanted to go down here and you said, oh, I want to remove this button, you know, kind of the random things. Um, sometimes it's going to be hard with different textures and stuff, but usually you can still remove those different objects if you want to take the time uh, and make that work. So it's totally your call on what you want to do. It's also neat like if there's some bokeh or something like these little flares of light over here in the corner. It kind of draws you away from the subject. You can go and remove that and it can definitely get a bit more muted. So those different changes that you're able to make can really help to 
improve um, just the focus of the image. All right, over here we have a picture of a man on his horse uh, and his dogs watching him, whether they're hunting or whatever they're doing. But I asked my wife, I'm like, hey, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to remove the dog out of the photo. And she was like, don't do that. And I'm like, and I'm still probably going to do it. Not that the dog's not supposed to be in the photo, but maybe for some reason you wanted to take the dog out or take a different animal out of the photo or something. But just for the sake of illustration, I can just go in and select the dog. It'll be interesting because it has this uh, bush, this kind of thorny bush next to him. Hopefully it doesn't get grabbed and it ends up being a big pain. But we select the dog and you know we end up with some some interesting things in here like this random whatever it is you know ended up not looking the greatest uh, and you can definitely see that there's some spots where there's not really much texture and it's kind of like this ghost type look um, but the photo the background is blurred in this image anyhow so you could see how that works um, you could obviously go back to like the spot healing uh, I mean the clone stamp brush and you could kind of take some texture from one spot put it in another you know there's some different ways that you're able to go in here but if your goal was to remove the dog out of the image you can do that and it works out really well one thing I want to share with you guys before I leave you uh, for this video is let's say we go over here again let's say for some reason the uh, tool uh, the clone stamp or the a spotty healing tool just wasn't the perfect tool for a specific um, for a specific project. What's awesome is you're also able to go into here to uh, the draw or the paint um, tool as well. This is kind of just an extra thing that can be helpful. Um, and there's a lot of different you know things you can do, but. You're able to go in here to like this paint and you're able to uh, zoom in and say, hey, I want to select this color here and then I want to use that to paint over this. Now it is going to select just like one color so you can like change the hardness and stuff. So instead of it looking like you just like removed it, and it looks kind of bad. You can say, okay, let me go and do a little hardness thing and it ends up doing more of it like a brush effect on here and you guys can play around with some of the settings there but that's like if you wanted to do some of that stuff uh, but it ends up getting too challenging there's too much randomness involved uh, that's just another tool to help you guys and then of course you can go back later and say hey I want to blur this and it can kind of help to blur what you did so maybe it can hide um, if it's going to end up being kind of sharp or things like that uh, but yeah, definitely try out some of these fun tools. I would definitely encourage you to use Photoscape for uh, these type of projects. Uh, but it's available in a lot of different softwares as well. But I'd love to know from your guys' perspective, what are you going to be using to, uh, or what objects you're going to be removing from photos. I'd love to see what you guys are working on. So guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.